I'm not Christian T, and welcome to my drumming YouTube channel. Ba -ba 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 -ba! I've been getting a lot of questions about what kind of drum gear I use, and so I'm going to tell you everything from drums to sticks to drum heads to cymbals to even the software I use to make my drum videos. I'm going to tell you all of it. So stick around, buckle up, because this video is going to be a long one, but it's going to be informative and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. All right, first things first, this is my drum setup. So of course, let's start with drums. First of all, her name is Roxy. This is Roxy 2.0. I had Roxy 1.0 a long time ago. That was my very first drum set. It was a Gammon percussion kit from eBay. I think it was like $100. You can actually see it in all of my older videos if you would like. I got this drum kit in 2011, which was my first semester in college. It was the D-Drum Reflex Series kit. Reflex Series was made of alder wood. It came in two tones, either black or white. It was a five piece kit. Right now I'm only using four as you can see. It's a fantastic drum set. I've had it for a long, long time and will continue to play it for years to come until I can afford to buy a new drum set. Quick disclaimer, I am proudly endorsed by SJC Drums and I currently have an SJC Drum snare. But of course, me being a starving actor and student in college, I cannot afford to buy a drum set. I can barely afford to eat day by day. But one day, I will buy an SJC drum set. But until then, D-Drum's pretty awesome. A few years ago, I've always wanted a drum set with natural wood. And so I decided one day that I was gonna do that to my drum set. So I took the black wrap off. I wish I had video of that. The natural wood of this drum set is beautiful, as you can see. Who would cover that up with a nasty black wrap? Anyway, long story short, I sanded it down, lacquered it, tightened all the screws back up, and this is what you see as my drum set today. All right, so we'll go around the kit first. So first of all, this is my SJC drum snare. This is the Paramount snare drum from SJC Drum Company. It is a 14 by five and a half snare. This is my rack tom. My rack tom is a 10 inch by eight inch. This is my floor tom. It is a 16 by 14 floor tom. And my kick drum is a 22 by 18 kick drum. Let's talk about drum heads. I use all Remo drum heads except my kick drum right there. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. For my snare drum, I have a Remo Power Stroke coated as my batter head. Underneath, I have a Remo Emperor resonant head. For both of my toms, I'm using the Remo Color Tone Emperor drum head. This is the blue one, as you can see. And underneath, for my resonant head, I have the Remo Pinstripe. For my kick drum, I'm using the Aquarian Super Kick 2. It is a fantastic drum head. I've used the Aquarian Super Kick 1 for years and still have it actually. And then for the resonant side of my kick drum, I'm using just the normal D drum resonant logo head to kind of represent D drum because I am still playing a D drum and not an SJC drum set quite yet. Drum sticks. For my drum sticks, I use wood tip. I use Vic Firth only. I like Vic Firth. The size I use is 5A. Symbols. For my cymbals, I use only Zildjian cymbals. I love Zildjian. They have treated me very well over the years, and they are an amazing company, and every single cymbal that I have played by them has been absolutely amazing. I am not endorsed by them, sadly, but I will never use another type of cymbal, ever, period. For my hi-hats, I'm using a 14-inch Zildjian S-Series Master Sound hi-hats. For my splash cymbal, I'm using a 10-inch Zildjian ZBT splash. For my left crash, I'm using a Zildjian S-Series Medium Thin Crash. For my main crash, I'm using an 18-inch Zildjian S-Series Thin Crash. For my China Symbol, I'm using a 16-inch Zildjian Oriental Trash China. And finally, for my ride symbol, I'm using a 20-inch Zildjian ZXT Rock Ride. I've had this for years and it's seen some love. As you can see, the logo, you can barely even see the Zildjian logo on it anymore. I even put duct tape on the bottom of it because this ride is extremely thick and it rings way too much for my taste. I almost forgot, I have a Zill Bell. This is a 10 inch Zill Bell. It's fantastic, I love effects symbols like splashes and bells. This will last you a long time. And the 10 inch has a powerful ring. We will go from left to right, starting with my drum throne right here. It is a Ludwig saddle type seat drum throne. Hardware, I mainly use DW hardware, but for my 
Hi-hat stand, I use a Gibraltar hi-hat stand. For my stick holder, I use a Vader stick holder. I also use a green LP block with its respectable LP stand. For my splash symbol, I use a PDP boom arm that attaches right to your other stands. For my rack tom, I use the provided D-Drum rack tom mount. For my crash symbol, I use a D-Drum 4000 series boom stand. For my China symbol, I use a PDP boom stand as well. PDP is also owned by DW, fun fact. For my right main crash, I use a 7000 series DW boom stand. For my ride symbol, I use a PDP straight stand. For my snare drum, I use a Gibraltar basket stand, kind of the normal snare stand for everybody. And then finally, my bass pedal, I use a Tama Speed Cobra 310 double bass pedal. It's fantastic, has a ton of adjustments on it. It's a double chain and it's really, really easy on the feet. And it has a super long footboard, which makes it easier for me to play double bass in the first place. If you are any type of semi-professional drummer like I am, in-ear monitors are essential. I've been in bands for years, I've done studio work, I've done it all, and these are necessary. When I bought these, these are about 100 bucks at Guitar Center, they are the Shure 215s. Besides that, that's it. Let's talk about software and a little bit of hardware. We'll just start off with the camera that I use. I have used nothing but my iPhone over the past year, so literally pretty much every single video you will see on my YouTube is taken off of my iPhone. I've been taking videos starting from the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 7, and the iPhone 10S, which is the one that you're seeing right now. I'm using the iPhone 10S or the iPhone XS if you don't know Roman numeral. A few years ago for my birthday, my mom bought me a second camera angle, which is the GoPro Hero 7. This is the white one. It says white. I don't know if you can see that, but that looks straight at me. Yeah, isn't that gray? Am I crazy? Am I colorblind? I don't know. Comment down below if you think it's great. For the sound for my videos, I do not use the microphone that is inside your phone. So I use a microphone to record all of my videos that you see. I'm even using this microphone right now. As you can see, this is the iRig Studio microphone. You can plug this microphone into your computer, your tablet, your iPhone, your Android, to anything and record with it. Last but not least, the love of my life. This is what I edit everything on. This is my MacBook Pro 15 inch mid 2014. It is pretty much maxed out except the storage on it. So this is an i7 processor. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM on it and 500 gigabytes of solid state storage. Inside there lives Final Cut Pro, which is exactly what I edit all my videos on. If any of you would be interested, I'm actually planning on making a video on how I even edit my drum videos in Final Cut Pro on my MacBook. And I think it'd be kind of interesting for you guys to see how I edit my drum videos. There's a million ways to do it, but I'm going to show you my way. That's it. You made it. Woo! If you made it this far, do me a huge favor, like, comment down below if you guys like this video. I really, really appreciate you watching my very, very small YouTube drumming channel. I post videos ranging from drum covers to lessons to fun tips and tricks videos. So please, if you like any type of drumming related content, hit that subscribe button. It would make me the happiest guy in the world. Once again, I'm not Christian T, and I'll see you guys next time.